Urbito Salaveria couldn't be more ecstatic about how Philippine pro boxing has come a long way since his reign as a two-time world flyweight champion. Now 72, Salaveria noted how a lot of opportunities come the way of Filipino boxers nowadays and therefore result in the country producing more world champions. At the moment, the Philippines has four reigning world title holders in many Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire Jr. Jerwin Ancajas and Vic Salyater. Next week, Mark Anthony Barriga will V for the International Boxing Federation mini flyweight crown, while former three time world champion Donnie Nietz is also attempting to win the World Boxing Organization super flyweight belt before the year ends. Maganda Ang Philippine Boxing Game, Kita Monaim and Ang dominating champion Sa World said Salaveria on Thursday night as he was enshrined in the third batch of the Philippines Sports Commission Hall of Fame at the PICC. Salaveria shared the stage with fellow honorees Lydia de Vega, Pengna Pomiseno, Bong Ku, while posthumously inducted were Filomeno Boy Codinera, Loreto Carbonell, former Senator Ambrosio Padilla, Ben Arda, Lita Della Rosa, and Josephine Delavina. Each Hall of Famers were given their trophies and P100,000 cash incentives by the PSC led by Chairman William Butch Ramirez. Tall and a skilled counterpuncher, Salaveria was among the few who carried the torch for Filipino boxing in the 70s as he twice reigned as world champion, first as World Boxing Council flyweight holder in 1970 and later on as World Boxing Association king in 1975. He won the WBC belt in December 1970 when he dethroned Char Chai Chayanoy by knocking him down three times in the second round to the horror of the more than 25,000 Thai fans watching the fight at the Army Sports Stadium in Bangkok. After one successful title defense against Susumu Haganata of Japan, Salaveria would be stripped of his crown a year later following a 15-round draw against challenger Batulio Gonzalez in Maracaibo, Venezuela. As chronicled by longtime boxing writer Graham Houston, ringside officials appeared suspicious of what Salaveria was drinking from his water bottle, that a sample of it was sent for laboratory testing by the WBC. After being declared of taking illegal substances, the WBC declared the title vacant. Salaveria bounced back strong and in 1975 became the WBA flyweight champion after scoring a split decision against Hanagata to end the Japanese's reign before a hostile crowd at the prefectural gymnasium in Toyama. He would later defeat Hanagata again by split decision at the Bunka Jam in Yokohama to retain his crown. His reign as champion would come to an end at the hands of Panamanian Alfonso Lopez after suffering a 15th round TKO loss in his title defense at the Araneta Coliseum in February. 1976. Salaveria wouldn't fight for the next two years and only returned to the ring in 1978 when he fought former WBC champion Natronoi Sorvorasing in Bangkok. It proved to be the last pro fight of the Filipino after he was stopped in the fourth round by the Thai. Salaveria compiled a ring record of 40-11-3 with 11 KOs in a 15-year career span. Unlike today when prize purses are on a high, Salaveria said fighters back then only get meager amount. He recalled that his fight against Gonzalez gave him his biggest prize money. Pinaka Malaki Koyung Sa of Venezuela, $75,000. Title defense Koyun said Salaveria.He no longer shadow boxes nowadays and mentions walking as his way of keeping in shape. Naglalakad na lang ako tawing yamaga, he disclosed. Salaveria still watches boxing on television, but didn't encourage any of his children, especially his four sons, to become a boxer. He considers Pacquiao and another great champion in Gabriel Flash Ellard as the two greatest Filipino boxers of all time. See, Pacquiao, eight time world division champion. Ang Hirap Nung Goan, he noted. Piero C. Ellard seven year Nahanawakan Niya and Corona. asked where he would put himself in the pantheon of Filipino world champions, Salaveria said he's not in the business of ranking. Walla Akong Masasabi Dian, he meekly said. Boxers, after all, would rather let their fists do the talking.